has on the way that we disseminate the news to everyone. I, Josh, I thought Twitter was a passing fancy. Okay. I thought when it came out, I said, this thing's going to be dead in a year. <laughs> And I couldn't believe how it caught on. So, uh, you know, I don't even know that I can capably answer that question because I think social media is really in its infancy and it's continually evolving. You know, I have absolutely no idea because it changes. I mean, I, I'm, I'm waiting for something to replace Twitter, you know. <laughs> and and maybe, maybe that won't happen. Maybe it'll just be another version of it. But I, I think, you know, you, we have the words out. Now we're going more to, uh, uh, you know, video and uh, uh, photographs and, and, and putting up everything with the, with the speed of light. I, I don't know. I couldn't have predicted Twitter. But uh, I think that as long as... I, I, I can't see it going away. I can't see it going away. The fans love it because they're connecting with the athletes. The athletes love it because it gives them even more of a voice. Um, I think the media likes it because it, it's our way of, of keeping on top of everything. I mean, for me, Twitter is not for me to really, uh, you know, disseminate information. For me, I really enjoy the receiving end and, and following up on everything. And it's like right there, boom, at your fingertips. If you had a crystal ball and looked five years down the road from here, what do you think the landscape's going to be like? Well, I have no way of knowing. I mean, Facebook and Twitter now might be replaced one day with somebody who comes up with a better mousetrap. It probably will be some combination of, uh, of media that allow people to share their thoughts as well as photos and video even faster. I mean, that's, that's something that that's, um, you see a, a lot now, people shooting their own video and being able to edit it and uh, you know have the space to store it and to to broadcast it as quickly as possible. And I think that you know. The reporting world will be five years. Um, I think it's going to continue to evolve, and I think it's something that uh, if we looked at it right now, we wouldn't recognize it. But if you looked at this five years ago, you wouldn't recognize this either. So um, we evolve one day at a time and gradually, and and uh, so that way we don't have to do any radical changes. But. I think you're going to see more social media involved. I think you're going to see less and less um, hard, hardcore, in-depth stories. I mean, hardcore reporting is always going to be a major part of it, but you're not going to see a lot of lengthy, in-depth stories. You're not going to see a lot of uh, long-form stories, uh, not a lot of feature stories, things like that. I mean, ultimately, I think it'll, it comes down to the consumer and what, is, what the consumer wants, what the consumer expects from a news organization. And I'm, you know, you kind of see increasingly now that it even, you know, and I cover sports, which is entertainment, but you're getting the feel now that even like with news stuff, that it's becoming increasingly viewed as entertainment more than it is actual news. Um, maybe people don't necessarily think of it that way, but I think that kind of becomes the end result. You may not even see much game coverage going forward. I mean, even that's already kind of gone by the wayside. I mean, what's the point of writing a game story now? You're at every game and you write a story after every game, but why should that be a game story in this day and age? That, that doesn't make any sense to me. So I think there may come a day when you don't have beat writers anymore uh, in Major League Baseball. You don't have that guy who's there with the team every day from the first day of spring training until the end of the season because, uh, you know, one, is there even a market for that type of coverage anymore? And two, um, do you even have to be with a team every day to provide that type of coverage in, in a day when a, a computer and an iPad and a cell phone can get you into that clubhouse just as much as your two legs can get you in there? Um, but it, I think I wonder if you can put the cap back on that bottle because it's, it's sort of what it's just become now. And it's so easy, right? I mean, I could literally stand here, talk to Mike Sosha, get an update and tweet it on my phone in two seconds, which is... I mean, I think it's in some ways it's devaluing news and actual reporting because that's really just about access, right? That's about I was here and I heard it, so I'm going to tweet it, as opposed to actually making the calls and doing some real reporting. In terms